it's always been the same simple story um, about these two people meeting and trying to suss out what they are to each other and what they might become for each other. Um, but definitely the details change a lot through the writing process and then, you know, um, as you bring collaborators on, they have thoughts and as a writer, as a screenwriter, it's sort of, you're trying to strike this balance between um, collaborating and honoring the sort of ideas of the people that you're bringing on board the project while at the same time you sort of have to be the person that's going to maintain the integrity of the piece and make sure that everything works. The thing I love about romantic comedies is it's the one genre you can't hide in. You can't hide who you really are in a romantic comedy because everybody in the world is an expert in love, in romance, in romantic yearning, in bittersweet melancholy and desire. I mean, every single person in the world has very strong opinions and experiences in this. They're all experts. It's about that, those undeniable connections you make with people, and it's not always convenient. You know, um, timing is so much a part of finding the right person for you. In this movie, it's the timing is wrong for them in so many different places. And I, I love the idea of trying to write like an ethical romantic comedy. You know. Um, you know, uh, Daniel and Zoe talk about this in one of the scenes of the movie, the idea that love can be the all-purpose excuse for terrible behavior. Dan and Zoe are better than I imagine, really. And it, on one level, just because it's, it's real. I mean, up until now, the characters are just these sort of like vague ideas. Now, you know, Wallace looks like Daniel Radcliffe and talks like him and has that spirit. And, Likewise, Chantry is Zoe Kazan. Um, but at another level, I mean, they bring so much as actors. They're so funny and charming and quick-witted, but also just so emotionally open. Um, the vulnerability and the intensity of their performances um, is, is better than I could have hoped for. You have no idea what you, the gift that we're about to give you, because I think it's gonna really, it's really gonna blow people's minds the kind of performance he gives in this film. He's so funny and romantic and charming and emotionally open and quick-witted. Uh, it's, it's much more than I uh, could have hoped for when we cast him, but I feel really gratified. I'm excited for the audience to see what he can really do. He's get, being able to show a range of emotion as well as just like a, a true, it's like, it's such a, it's such a like juggernaut of a comedy performance. I'm really excited for audiences to, to see this whole side of him. Michael Dowse is doing an amazing job. I'm, I couldn't be more thrilled. Um, you know, we got to know each other over the process of developing and making the movie, and I think it's been a really remarkable collaboration for me. He's incredibly generous as a director. Uh, he's very commanding on set, knows what he wants, but doesn't have this big ego where he isn't interested in other people's thoughts. He's very inclusive, and um, while at the same time knows what he wants, he also is smart enough to know that somebody else might have another point of view that actually is going to help make it better. I think, like me, he just wants whatever it takes to make the movie as amazing as possible.